Hey guys, so today we are going to be taking a look at LR Great Ape Vegeta at 55% full level 1 links. Just took a look at Kaioken Goku, so now it's time to move on to this guy here. So let's go over what he does, and then we'll talk about his teams. Alright, so this is Furious Last Resort Vegeta Giant Ape. His leader skill is in Human Deeds or Giant Ape Power Category Key plus 4, 150% to attack, HP, and defense. Again, the same thing applies to this that I said for Kaioken Goku. These should be 180% leads, period. We, we don't need 150. We frankly don't even need 170. It, we're, 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 past the, we're past that time. It, it, it's done. <laughs> we need these leader skills to be better, especially for premium, brand new, summonable LR characters. Like, who? nobody's using this. Nobody. All right. So let's take a look at his super attack effects. The 12 key is the final bullet attack, raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage to enemy. The 18 key super attack is the hyper explosive wave, causes mega colossal damage to all enemies. So he is an AoE character. His passive is the overwhelming combat. If there is an enemy whose name includes Goku um, at the start of character's attacking turn, Activates the entrance animation once only, and he gets key plus three and attack plus 60%. So the one thing to just note quickly about that is that he does gain 10% uh, less attack than Goku does for fighting, uh, you know, the opposite character. So for Vegeta fighting a Goku and Goku fighting a Vegeta, Goku gets 70% attack, whereas Vegeta gets 60. Obviously, the reason why they did that is because Goku is infinitely more common than Vegeta. But, uh, hello? Like... Why? <laughs> What's the point of intentionally lowering that? Anyway, um, so he gets key plus three and attack and defense plus 100%, which is pretty good. Just getting three key, I think, is pretty good. Then he gets an additional attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack. And then he gets an additional defense plus 60% if it's an ultra super attack. He has guard against all attacks, and then he gets an additional three key and 30% attack within the same turn when guard is activated. So basically, if he's been hit before he does anything, he's going to be getting the three key and 30% extra attack buff. So mostly a slot one thing, but if there's like an AOE attack, he's going to get that as well. His active skill is the giant ape transformation, able to be activated when HP is 40% or less once only, and he turn into a giant ape, which we'll just take a look at quickly here because it's nothing too special. The super attack effect is the gigantic rampage, just destructive damage, nothing special there. So the thing with this Vegeta is he gets key plus five with his great ape, which is pretty good. I mean, that that's not bad at all, right? So he's starting the turn at 11 key. So he only needs, what is that? Or not 11 key, sorry. He's starting the turn at, um, yeah, no, no, sorry. Yeah, it is 11 key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's starting the turn 11 key, so he needs 7 key to get his ultra super attack, which is like still not that great, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Alright, so going back to the Vegeta, by the way, you can um you can stay in that form for either one or two turns. Alright, so here's the biggest issue I have with this unit, and it's the categories. Or not the categories, the, the links. Well, it's actually both. <laughs> it's actually both. I'm actually gonna start with the categories, because I think it's better to look at this. And this is really where the root of the problem lies, at least for me, because we, we've we been asking for a good grade eight Vegeta for since pretty much since the game even came out, because this is one of, you know, you're talking about Saiyan Saga Vegeta. It's like one of the mainstay villains of Dragon Ball. The first time we've gotten like a really good headlining, uh, not headlining, but, you know, uh, LR or Dokkan Fest version of this character is now seven years into the game's lifespan. And the reason why, well, one of the reasons why we really wanted this guy for so long is because he's going to buff so many teams. Look how many teams he's on. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's on 14 categories. That's a lot. So in theory, this guy should be able to help out and provide a massive buff for a lot of these categories. Inhuman Deeds, Giant Ape Power, Pure Saiyans, Dragon Ball Seekers, Vegeta's Family, Terrifying Conquerors, Space Traveling Warriors, Gifted Warriors, Planetary Destruction, Accelerated Battle, Battle of Fate, Giant Form, Final Trump Card, and Saiyan Saga. All these teams, like, there's a lot of like dinky, bad, not good teams in here, right? I mean, there's a, there's a decent amount in here. I mean, Saiyan Saga, like, <laughs> hello, <laughs> Giant Form? 
Uh, I would argue that like, um, well, I don't know. I, I was gonna say accelerated battle, but definitely not. Uh, you you could argue that like giant eight power isn't that dominant, but you know with the with the seven year anniversary LRs, it's pretty good. It's just very limited. To, like giant eight power, while it's good, is definitely still limited. So getting characters like the Dragon Ball Seekers, definitely a, a team that you really see that often. Inhuman Deeds, not really even a team at all because they don't even have a real leader. So a lot of these like smaller teams that don't have a lot of um, you know don't have a, lot, have a lot going for them really could use this Vegeta because of the fact that he covers so many teams. But the thing is, even though this guy is on so many teams, here's his links. Sane Warrior Race, Warrior Lineage, fine. Over 9,000 transform shattering the limit Saiyan Roar and Legendary Power. So, uh, here's the thing with the links. They intentionally, intentionally, for the anniversary, removed Fuse Fighter from Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's link set, because that's a given, right? Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is a fusion character. He has Fuse Fighter. What? They, they removed it. The reason why they removed it, and it was a good thing they did, is because they wanted to make space for things like Saiyan Roar, which are definitely going to benefit him more in the long run, right? And that's a good change, right? They broke the mold by doing that to um, for, for just basically for the good of the character, for the good of the unit. Meanwhile, they give this Vegeta over 9,000 and transform. What are they doing? <laughs> like, this is the single reason why I really don't understand what they were going for with this Vegeta because he's supposed to be helping these lesser teams, right? You know, uh, Inhuman Deeds, Giant 8 Power, Giant Form, like you could even put Final Trump Card in there maybe. So, Saiyan, uh, Saiyan Saga. But how was he supposed to help the teams when he can't link with anybody? <laughs> how was he supposed to help, right? And even more so beyond that, this Vegeta, as opposed to Goku, because remember, Goku gets seven key for the first seven turns. This Vegeta's just getting three key permanently, which is not bad, but it's not really going to allow him to super as often as you would think. Sure, he gets an extra three key from being in slot one and eating that first attack, but a lot of times you're not going to want to put him there, right? So, I... I don't know. I don't know. I think his only key link... I mean, is transforms a key link but I don't, I'm, I'm not really gonna ever consider this a real link because we don't really have like who are you running this guy next to the this guy isn't even linked with him because they're both they have both of the same name you running this guy with this vegeta the story mode free to play vegeta no there's just nobody on this list who i would actually run with this vegeta unless this guy gets a easy a but like even still they're only gonna share like one link so um I don't even, what does this link even do? Attack link? Okay, yeah, this is great. Look at this. Fantastic. Nice link. Um, so, I mean, Royal Lineage really is the only key link, real key link that he has, and it's just with other Vegetas, which is not the word, right? The Royal Lineage is, is, is a solid link if you're running Vegeta teams, which is what we're going to be doing, but that's really it. So it's kind of, it's kind of funny because these characters have the opposite problems of each other. I think Goku has too much key and Vegeta doesn't have enough key, right? Goku is able to work really well as a flex option on any of his teams, whereas Vegeta has a lot of teams, but isn't really able to work well as a flex option on pretty much any of them. So it's like, uh, do they intentionally try and make this Vegeta worse? And that's what it seems like to me. So I don't know. I mean, again, I'm not really going to pay too much attention to technically how good he is. It's just, I'm happy we finally got a great Vegeta. I'm happy they finally are recognizing the character in the game, but uh, is he going to be useful? I don't know. My answer, my answer is I don't know. I've only really created one team for him as well, which is going to be the uh, Majin Buu slash uh, Majin Buu Saga slash Vegeta's family team, and then he um, is going to give the ex extra boost to Gifted Warriors. So basically, we're running a full Vegeta team with Great Saiyan Man one and two. I made sure that I put on the uh, GT Vegeta as well because I feel like orb changing is going to be helpful. Majin Vegeta also is orb changing, and then we have the Great Salmon 1 and 2 giving 4 key. Again, I do think this Vegeta is probably going to have a bit of an issue with key. Um, we're going to be using him next to this Vegeta, who's actually not that bad. I've been stuck at 6 out of 7 links for this guy for like 2 weeks, so I'm really hoping we can get him done soon. But this Vegeta is able to link up pretty well with the Great 8 Vegeta. 
while not being that bad of a character, right? He's an easy A character. He's not that old, I think, with his easy A. But uh, he, he should be pretty decent. Not not great, but not awful. Um, and then the other rotation is going to be Majin Vegeta and then this uh, AGL Vegeta from the Golden Week Celebration. So this is really the only team I have because, just because, like, while Goku doesn't have a 200% team, this Vegeta does. And I, I don't really see a different team to run this guy on where he's really going to be able to compete with his uh, performance on this team because you're always always going to want to run this guy next to a Vegeta because of the fact that this is his only key link. Like, what? you have no options. Like, this is it. They give, you know what's funny is they basically gave us all these teams for Vegeta. They, what what they're doing is they put Vegeta in like the middle of like a, a football field with worth of teams, but then they just like put him in a box and he, he, he can't reach like any teams because he just, he, he doesn't work on them. That's the issue here. He has too many teams, but doesn't work on any of them, pretty much. It's just very sad. So we're going to be using this team. I guess we'll go ahead and jump into a Super Battle Road stage first, just to test out and see how good this Vegeta is. But I don't know. It, let's just see for ourselves. All right. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm actually, I replaced the Great Saiyan 1 and 2 with uh, Int Zeno Vegeta because I want to run the Vegeta family stage. I did the Goku family stage with the Goku, so I figured it's just... You know, it makes the most sense to the Vegeta family stage here. We should be able to get the entrance animation as well. But yeah, pretty much a full Vegeta team. Uh, Vegeta is getting the full 200% leader skill. So unlike Goku, he does have access to that right now on global. But uh, yeah, I mean, we'll, 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 let's let's have the game speak for itself. Let's jump in and uh, let's just give this a go here. So, all right, so we have him in the second turn, which means I'm going to have to rotate off the uh, Dokkan whatever it's called, like, what is it, like the, the Butoden, Dokkan Butoden Vegeta here. All right, let's do this. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the only thing to note about this team is that there's no trunks, so the Majin Vegetas are not going to be getting their uh, entrance animation buffs, so they're missing out on 30% damage reduction. So we potentially could take some damage here, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. I will go for Kid Goku here. Let's do this. Let's, you know, let's do this. Yeah, let's do that. And let's give this guy as many orbs as we can. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Let's do this. All right. Hopefully we don't get blasted right away. Okay, it's not bad. I mean, again, it's not a super old stage, but it's not new. It's also a normal super battle stage, so it's not extreme. We could go ahead and try and jump into some really difficult stuff after this, I guess, to test them out, but I... <laughs> I think that's unfair. <laughs> okay, nice. We're going to be able to kill this Goku right away. So we can't super the Dokkan, Butoda, and Vegeta after this, which is good. All right. And we'll get this guy's attack in. That's actually not, like, horrible, 2.5. All right. So here is Vegeta. First turn. He has Royal Lineage, Insane Warrior Race. Here he has just Royal Lineage. Okay, so we'll, we'll do this. So, 113,000 defense. Keep in mind, he, he does get a lot, a lot of defense on Super Deck. Even though, even though his Super Deck effect does not give him uh, any kind of defense, he is getting um, two separate instances of 60% defense when he does an 18 key Super Attack. So, he is at 113. I'm actually going to take out the calculator and calculate this just to let you guys know exactly what his defense looks like. So 113, which is called 113. So then you're going to take that and multiply it by 1.6. And then you're going to take that and multiply that by 1.6. And that should be what his defense is. So his defense is going to be around 290,000. With guard, that's actually not that bad. At 55% level 1 links, that's actually not that bad. But the thing is with this Vegeta, is because he gets the extra attack and the extra key in slot one, the game is incentivizing you to put him in slot one where he's going to be exposed before he actually super attacks, right? So that's the problem here. I can go ahead and grab this and we're gonna be able to get the extra attack and the key from uh, getting hit in the first slot. But if this Grandpa Gohan supers right away, even though we are guarding, we only have 113,000 defense. We should, we're, I mean, if this was a difficult event, we'd be taking like 300, 400, 500,000 damage from that still. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, I guess we... This is actually pretty unlucky. Let's do this. And then we'll super with you here. 
All right, let's see how this plays out here. All right, so we're going to take... He still takes 11.4 thousand, and then he's going to hit 4 million, which is... I mean, it's, it's okay. <laughs> For a 55% level 1 Lynx unit, it's not horrible. It is an AoE, so that's cool, I guess, but... At least his defense after Super Ring would have been really, really good, so... Yeah, that's really what we're looking at with this Vegeta. Um, I'm hoping that the next fight... Does the next one have a Goku so we can actually get this guy's entrance animation active and get the numbers to be bumped up a bit? Yeah, there's a Goku there, and I don't... Actually, no, yeah, no, there is a Goku in both stages. Okay, that's really good. All right, so let's jump in here and Goku and go on. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Again, Vegeta's missing out on some damage reduction because of the lack of a Trunks. I'm going to take out this Gohan because I don't want... Uh, actually, I'm going to take out Goku. No, I want to keep Goku for the entrance animation, so let's, let's do this. Let's take out this guy here. I also want to be cautious of my orb usage. I will save that for Vegeta next turn. Because if we don't, we could be in key trouble here. Okay, so we'll do some damage to this Gohan. I don't think we'll kill him, but we're gonna set ourselves up to be in a pretty decent spot here for grade 8 Vegeta, I think. That's fine. We already supered, so we should be able to tank this pretty well. Yeah, Majin Vegeta looking pretty good. Again, this is without his damage reduction, but again, the stage is not the toughest stage ever. That's good. They both supered Majin Vegeta. That's a little bit more. It's fine. All right, 6 million from you is pretty good. All right, so Gohan is dead. And we'll go ahead and get the entrance animation in here finally, which is nice. Okay, so with this Vegeta, we actually have a lot of links active. We have four out of seven, which is not bad. Do we have anything else in the middle? No. Okay, so this is fine. We'll leave things like this. We have Sane Warrior Race, Warrior Lineage over 9,000 and Shattering the Limit. So we're at 130,000 defense. Again, the same amount that we had in the prior turn which means we're going to be at around 290,000 once we 18 key super here with Vegeta, which we can because I intentionally saved the orbs. We're actually going to be at max key here because of the extra three key we get for being hit in the front as well. So let's go ahead and do this. This Goku should be dead here. I don't think he's going to survive. Okay, so we're going to grab the extra key and attack here. And he gets to 5.9. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty big jump with the... Uh, Entrance animation in there as well, so definitely not too bad. I mean, six million from a 55% level links unit that, that, that's AoEing, I will take that. It's not horrible, but it's just if this was a more difficult event, that first attack, he would be taking a lot of damage. Like, he'd be taking like 50k per normal attack <laughs> before he supers. And if he got supered in the front there, that's uh, well, we don't talk about that. All right, well, this is going to be the best turn um, once we get to the second rotation here because we're going to have uh, support for Vegeta as well. So let's go ahead and see if we can not kill the Goku here. We'll focus on the Goten and Gohan. Um, I guess we'll do this. This is really bad. Uh, let's just use this. We just put Vegeta in the front? I guess we do. I'm going to... Is it possible to save? I'm gonna save these green orbs for Vegeta next turn. Let's just do as much as damage as we can to uh, go on and go 10 here. We'll get the end animation again and uh, we'll have support as well. So we should be good to go. 4.7 for Majin Vegeta. Let's be crit, we're doing zero damage, so. Yeah. Uh, at least they didn't super, which is pretty good. The AGL Vegeta actually does pretty good damage. Yeah, three points, like this Vegeta does actually a decent da amount of damage. Plus, once we get um, deeper into the fight, he's gonna have an extra buff and he starts being effective against all types. Like that, 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 this Vegeta, I feel like is pretty underrated. All right, so we're going to do this, and this should be the final turn, I think, coming up here. <laughs> I 
I was... I was actually gonna say, uh... I was gonna say... I was kind of hoping that the Gohan and Goten would not die, so we could actually see like the AOE be effective here, but... <laughs> too fast. Alright, do we have anything else here? No. Okay, so... We are sitting at 136k. Let me do a quick calculation here. 136,000 times 1.6 times 1.6. So we're going to be at around... 350,000 defense after 18 key supering on this rotation. Again, not bad. It's just, it, again, if this Goku was supering in the front here, like this first attack, and this was, for example, like Bojack Red Zone, Janemba Red Zone, Omega Shenron Red Zone, Broly Red Zone, like any of the tougher stages of the Red Zone, if this first attack was a super from one of those stages, this Vegeta would take like 600k damage, I, I'm telling you. So, that's the only flaw here. So, let's go ahead and do this. We'll be able to get max key uh, with support, with the instant animation. This is pretty much going to be the pinnacle of what this Vegeta, uh, Vegeta is going to be able to do offensively at 55%. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this. And then I guess we'll move on to a different event here. But there's really not much else to say. So, let's see. 6.86. That is definitely not bad. As an AoE, I'll take that. All right, well, yeah, he, he should be more than okay right here. Yeah, 32k is not that bad. Okay. I'm pretty content with how we were able to show him off here. Let's um, wrap, the, wrap up this fight, and then we'll go uh, and fight somebody else. Let's have the final explosion play out. We haven't, haven't shown this off in a while. Alright, so I think we'll try jumping into the God of Destruction event. We'll go up against Hellas just so that we can have like a rotating uh, type stage here. I would say Hellas definitely hits the weakest out of all the Gods of Destruction, which makes sense because she doesn't have a specific, you know, consistent typing here. But um, this is about, you know, the hardest difficulty stage I would say this Vegeta really is suitable for at 55% level 1 links. I really wouldn't expect him to perform like... I, th I think if I brought him into like the baby stage of the red zone at 55% level one links, it would just be a disservice to the unit. I think it wouldn't, it just wouldn't be fair to Vegeta to do that. So I think this is about the appropriate level of difficulty that he should perform okay in. But let's see. Uh, this could be pretty, this could be pretty bad depending on how rotations end up. I don't really know how well this guy's going to look. Probably not that good, <laughs> to be honest with you guys. But we will try our best here. I can only find a 55% Majin Vegeta friend, by the way. So, uh, yeah. Uh, in fact, I I don't feel comfortable running this guy. I'm going to replace him with... Uh, who else is going to be on here? I guess we could do this Vegeta, or we could go with... Um, go with you. Let's go with you instead. All right, let's jump in with this. Let's see how this works. We have Icarus. Let's see. Let's see, we have Vegeta in the second rotation. Now keep in mind, this is also going to be obviously a situation where Vegeta is not going to be able to get the entrance animation active, which I think will also hurt him offensively. But we will try our best here. Um, all right, so obviously we could potentially take a lot of damage here. Vegeta just does not have his entrance animation active because of the lack of trunks on the team. I am probably going to end up having to use an item next turn, which is whatever. Uh, let's see this. And then I'm going to save those green orbs on the right for great video next turn. Let's get those eight orbs for you. All right. Let's see. How, uh, great. Thanks. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. It's a lot. We should be okay, though, for the rest of this turn, I think. Again, this is... I'm pretty confident this is the God of Destruction that hits the weakest out of all of them. And it makes sense why. All right, this AGL Vegeta takes time to build up, but it does do good damage, I think. All 
All right, we get him built up a little bit here. One more. Uh, um. All right, so Grade Eight Vegeta next turn. Boy, he's gonna get trounced. All right, so she's tech. We do have support. And we have the extra support memory. Do I use an item or do I just let, let it play out? I feel like I should just let this play out. And then if we die, I'll just jump right back in. Because we're not we're only on turn two. This is not that deep into the fight here. I think it makes sense just to see. Oh wow, we can get this. Okay, well, we're definitely doing that. There's 149,000 defense in this turn. Let's go ahead and do this, actually. I'm glad we were able to get this into the video. All right, so Great Ape Vegeta. Uh, remember, he starts out with an extra five key, so he's starting with 11 key, which means he needs seven extra key to be doing his ultra super attack. Actually, did I? I don't think I showed this. Yeah, he greatly raises his attack temporarily with the 18 key, which is not that big of a difference, honestly, but whatever. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll get his 18 key in, and then we'll be able to also show his 12 key as well. So we pretty much, we, we got every animation in the video, which is nice, so that's good. I'll see how much damage we actually do here. All right, so Vegeta's up to 3.2 million. Again, not really that impressive. How much damage does this do? Okay, 1.4. And then this normal attack. 1.9 crit. Actually, crit, wow, it's pretty rare. Only 10% chance. I mean, if you add up all the damage, because he's over 3 million damage dealt. Dodge that. I think if you add up all the damage we dealt, like it would have been equivalent to like a normal ultimate active skill. Did we did we get an extra turn here? We did not. Okay. Actually, I think the phase shift might have interrupted the uh, the active skill. But whatever. All right. So she is in here. 149k defense. We have. Uh. This is, what, under 30% HP? Um, yeah, 29% of damage. We're, we're actually pretty close to that. <laughs> we're like 32% HP or something. I am going to not use an item here just to see if we're able to actually do okay here. We only have Saiyan Warrior Race active, huh? In the middle, we have four links. Doesn't change our defense, though. Okay, let's do this. Let's just see how this works. Uh, if we die, it's fine. Uh, if we die, actually, I think the one who's going to die is the Vegeta here, but whatever. Let's see. Let us see if he supers right away. Six is actually not that bad. All right, and then we're fine here for sure. Oh, six million, okay. Remember, no entrance animation. Please super, I want to see it. Please super, please super, please super. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Almost 10 million by this machine. <laughs> okay, I, I think we would have easily survived the super there, actually. That's that's pretty good. And then we got the additional, okay. I think if Hellas supers this Vegeta, we're taking, like, actually nothing. Super? There's no way she's supering this Vegeta, right? There's no way. There's no way you're supering this Vegeta. I refuse to believe this. I refuse to believe it. Okay, nice. Okay. I can we use the I think we can use the final explosion on both Vegeta's, right? Or just this one, okay. Do I do it? I think we could just kill her this turn.
I think we win here. Um. Uh, I should have gotten the super with that review in the middle. That was a mistake. I wanted to get the extra healing with the orbs there. Whatever. Yeah, we don't win yet. Right, give me an extra super. We should be fine. Um, I, I really want to see Ready Vegeta take a super after he supers, like really badly. All right, she's physical now. We have no support on this rotation. And here's the thing, right? <laughs> this is the exact turn I was talking about, where <sighs> really don't want to put him in the front here. I'm doing it anyway. If we die, it's fine. I feel like we would die to a super here. Oh yeah, we're 100% dead. If she doesn't super, we live though. Wow, she didn't super at all. 4 million, eh. Okay, super? Okay, there's a super. How much does this do with no support? Wow, okay, that's good. I mean, you you guys saw Majin Vegeta take what three hundred and my my I, I believe it was my wasn't it my uh, my rainbow Majin Vegeta I think it was who took three hundred and fifty thousand from a super. So I I guess that's pretty solid I think. Um, but again, we just got lucky that she didn't super right away because if she had, we would be dead. <laughs> that that super would have done like. 250k, I think, to Vegeta before he supered. So, you know what? I'll take it. I think uh, this Vegeta actually did not do that badly in this video. It's just, I really don't like the fact that he's very limited in his team's base off of his links, even though he's technically on a bunch of teams. I don't know why they did it that, that way. Like they, there's like three links that should be replaced, which is more generic links, and them doing that would allow him to be way more helpful on a bunch of different teams. But, let me know down below what you guys think of this LR Grade 8 Vegeta. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one.